The Indian intelligence agencies have warned the Indian diplomats and citizens in Canada of a violent protest planned by the pro Khalistan elements on September 25th. According to sources, more than 20 pro Khalistani groups, with the help of Pakistan's inter services agency, could target Indian diplomats and citizens during the planned protest. The warning came after a diplomatic row erupted between India and Canada after the latter expelled a senior Indian diplomat alleging a potential link between the Indian government and the killing of a Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar in June 2023. This is not the first time when Khalistani groups are threatening to target Indian diplomats. The K groups are also planning a massive protest outside Indian High Commission in Ottawa and likely to do the same at other diplomatic buildings. Indian intelligence has alerted Indian diplomats regarding this protest, which is a call to do ghera of the foreign offices of India and to be taken this, this particular intelligence to be taken seriously given the strained relations between the two countries. The security outside Indian mission has been beefed up. Also, city municipalities have been removing banners and posters of Khalistani groups to ease the tension. The case is witnessing developments with each passing day as United States has confirmed about the credible intelligence given to Canada by one of the five eye intelligence partners country and also asks India to cooperate in the probe, where on the other end, Justin Trudeau is facing heat from his own people, from his own uh, opponents, uh, including the Premier of British Columbia, because all are saying or perhaps alleging that there is no credible evidence that that was given to them, provided to them, all which was briefed to them was available in the open internet. Some are also blaming Trudeau for spoiling Indo-Pacific strategy by falsely implicating India. India on the other end has intensified actions on K-group properties belonging to Guru Patwan Singh Pannu and Hardeep Singh Nijjar. Their properties have been confiscated in the state of Punjab. India is also mulling over action by identifying Khalistan leaders and cancelling their OCI cards. Indian intelligence also suspects hand of not one but intelligences of many countries behind organizations like Sit for Justice, Justice is Rise and look at this situation as an opportunity deliberately created by some country to pull India down including Pakistan's ISI.